Hey everyone, so this might be of Gotham, Season 3, Episode 6, called Follow the White Rabbit. And basically what this episode is about is that the Mad Hatters um, sort of sets his eyes on some plenty of new victims. And with that, Goran has to make some tough decisions. And while that's all going on, Nygma and Penguin's relationship sort of evolves. And Nygma sort of runs into a kind of familiar face. And this was a really great episode that was so entertaining to watch. And it really did a good job at finally like focusing back on Thatch. And his whole like plan for revenge on Gordon. And the beginning of this episode was so great with Thatch um, like collecting all these different people. And setting up all these obstacles that... Um, Goran had to like choose between um, kind of giving information to Thatch about who Goran cares about and doing all this stuff and it was so well done and kind of I don't know how to describe it but it was just so entertaining to watch this first like obstacle that Goran had to go through but the one part that kind of confused me was actually the ending of the last episode where um, the Mad Hatter went and dressed one girl kind of up like Alice and then he killed her and then with this episode they never really went back to that it was just kind of one moment that was in the last episode that was kind of seemed like it was supposed to be in this episode but it wasn't and that really kind of confused me that they kind of completely forgot about the murder that the Mad Hatter did and it was kind of brought up slightly um, in the like actual like tea party scene in this episode where um, Jim Gordon's like nameplate was the same one from that murder, but still it was like never really discussed. And I did really enjoy that this whole episode like had many of like the sort of Alice in Wonderland characters in it. But then again with that, they never brought Alice in. She was just murdered and kind of forgotten about. And that was really confusing to me and really kind of annoyed me to some degrees. And the whole part in this episode with like Goran having to choose between the two women he loves was really interesting for like the first chunk with um, the Mad Hatter sort of messing with Goran's mind. Um, and doing like all these ways that he was kind of choosing who he loved, but not really. But then the ending chunk, when he finally had to make like the actual decision between the two women, where they had like guns pointed to their heads and he had to pick which one would die and which one would live, that part kind of fell through to me and just seemed so uninteresting and kind of boring and just did seem like it held up to the all the hype that the rest of this episode was building up for that moment to be. I just didn't care for it and it didn't seem like it should have been the moment that it was and all that. And then with that, the whole idea that Gordon loves Valerie seemed a little odd to me because they kind of only just met and started dating and getting to know each other like in real life. So it just seemed odd to me for them to have the idea that Gordon might be in love with her. And then the growing relationship between Penguin and Nygma was very interesting with how they chose to sort of stray it off from the comics. But I also don't feel like it's going to stick and I feel like it's going to end up um, separating them finally and sort of molding them even more into the two people that they are with Penguin sort of being this sort of lone emperor of the underground of Gotham. And I just feel like it's going to happen because Penguin's going to find out that Nakebud doesn't truly feel the same way about him. And I'm sad about that, but I also feel like that's going to end up being how it goes. And just overall, I really enjoyed and really loved this episode, and I cannot wait for more. So, yeah, that's my review of Gotham, Season 3, Episode 6, called Follow the White Rabbit. So, yeah. Bye!